Hey everybody, Linus here. Today we're going to explore a fascinating yet alarming topic that you might not have considered before. It's all about how something as seemingly harmless as an image file can be used by hackers to infiltrate your Android device. Yes, you heard that right, an image file. In the world of hacking, creativity knows no bounds. Hackers are always on the lookout for new and innovative ways to breach security systems. One of the most ingenious methods they've come up with involves hiding malicious code within image files. This technique is known as steganography, and it's both fascinating and frightening. But don't worry, we're here to educate you, not to scare you. Understanding these threats is the first step in protecting yourself. Knowledge is power, and by the end of this video, you'll be better equipped to safeguard your devices against such attacks. So how does this all work? Well, steganography allows hackers to embed malicious code within an image file in such a way that it remains hidden from plain sight. When you download and open this seemingly innocent image on your Android device, the hidden code gets executed, potentially giving the hacker access to your personal information, photos, and even control over your device. It's crucial to remember that hacking without permission is not only illegal, but also highly unethical. Our goal here is to inform and educate, not to encourage any malicious activities. Always ensure you have explicit permission before attempting any form of hacking or security testing. Now, you might be wondering, how can you protect yourself from such sophisticated attacks? The good news is that there are several steps you can take to minimize the risk. First and foremost, be cautious about the sources from which you download images. Stick to reputable websites and avoid downloading files from unknown or suspicious sources. Additionally, keep your device's software and security features up to date. Regular updates often include patches for vulnerabilities that hackers might exploit. Using a reliable antivirus program can also help detect and block malicious files before they can do any harm. Another useful tip is to be wary of unsolicited emails and messages, especially those containing attachments or links. Hackers often use social engineering tactics to trick you into downloading infected files. If something seems off or too good to be true, it's best to err on the side of caution. In conclusion, while the idea of hackers using image files to gain access to your device might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, it's a very real threat. By staying informed and taking proactive measures, you can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to such attacks. So stay vigilant, keep your devices secure, and always be mindful of the files you download. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe in the digital world. Steganography is like invisible ink for the digital world. It's a fascinating technique that has been used for centuries, but now it's evolved into something much more sophisticated. It's the art of hiding data within other data, making it nearly impossible to detect without the right tools. Imagine sending a secret message that only the intended recipient can read, while everyone else just sees a normal file. Take our cat picture example. On the surface, it looks like an ordinary cute photo of a cat, but hidden within the pixels is a secret message or even a piece of code. Hackers can exploit vulnerabilities in software like the infamous stage fright bug in Android to execute code hidden within images. This bug allowed attackers to send a simple multimedia message that could take over your phone without you even knowing. Think of it like this. You receive what looks like a normal picture message. You open it, thinking it's just another photo from a friend. But lurking inside that seemingly harmless image is a malicious payload, ready to pounce when you open it. This payload can be designed to do a variety of harmful things. This payload can do all sorts of nasty things, like stealing your personal information, such as passwords, bank details, and personal photos. It can even track your location and monitor your activities, or even taking control of your phone's camera and microphone. Imagine someone watching and listening to you without your knowledge. It's a chilling thought, but it's a reality in the world of cyber threats. Always be cautious and aware of the potential risks lurking in the digital world. To pull this off, hackers use a few tools. Steghide is a popular choice for hiding malicious code within images. It's like the hacker's secret weapon for burying that nasty surprise within a seemingly innocent picture. Next, we have Metasploit, a powerful framework for creating and deploying exploits. Think of it as the hacker's workshop where they build their digital weapons. 
Finally, Kaylee Linux is a popular operating system for ethical hackers and penetration testers. It comes pre-loaded with tools like Steghide and Metasploit, providing hackers with a one-stop shop for their digital mischief. First, a hacker needs to create the malicious payload, the bad stuff that will infect the target device. They can use Metasploit's MSF Venom to generate this payload. It's like cooking up a nasty digital concoction in the hacker's digital kitchen. This payload is a small piece of code that's designed to do something malicious once it's on your device. It could be anything from logging your keystrokes and stealing your passwords to taking control of your camera and recording your every move. Section 5. Sneaking the bomb into a picture. Now comes the tricky part. Hiding the payload within an image. This is where Steghide comes in. The hacker uses Steghide to embed the malicious payload within the image file, like stuffing a secret message in a bottle and tossing it out to sea. The image file acts as a Trojan horse carrying the hidden payload undetected. To the untrained eye, the image looks perfectly normal, but hidden beneath the surface lies a digital time bomb waiting for the right moment to detonate. Section 6. Delivering the Dangerous Picture the infected image needs to reach its target. This is a crucial step in the hacker's plan. Hackers often use social engineering, tricking users into downloading and opening the image themselves. They exploit human psychology, making the victim believe the image is harmless or even beneficial. This could be through phishing emails, which are designed to look legitimate and trustworthy. Malicious links on social media or even compromised websites are other common methods. These platforms are often used because they reach a wide audience quickly. Imagine receiving an email that looks like it's from a trusted source, like your bank or a friend. The email might have a sense of urgency, prompting you to act quickly without thinking. The email might contain a link to download an image or a file. It could be disguised as an important document or a fun picture. Clicking on that link could unknowingly download the infected image to your device, giving the hacker a foothold into your digital life. Once the image is downloaded, the malware can start its work, potentially stealing your personal information, spying on your activities, or even taking control of your device. To protect yourself, always be cautious with unsolicited emails and messages. Use reliable antivirus software and keep your systems updated. Awareness and vigilance are your best defenses against these types of cyber threats. Section 7. Setting the Trap the Metasploit Listener. Before sending the image, the hacker sets up a Metasploit Listener on their own machine. This listener acts like a homing beacon, waiting for a signal from the infected device once the payload is executed. Think of it like this. The hacker casts out a fishing line with a baited hook. The bait is the infected image, and the hook is the malicious payload hidden inside. When the victim takes the bait, the hook sets, and the hacker reels in their catch. Section 8. Boom! The trap is sprung. When the victim opens the infected image, the hidden payload springs to life. It connects back to the hacker's listener, establishing a back door into the Android device. The trap has been sprung, and the hacker now has a direct line into the victim's device. The victim, none the wiser, continues using their phone as if nothing is wrong. Little do they know that their every move is being monitored, their every keystroke logged, and their every file vulnerable to the hacker's prying eyes. Section 9. Taking control of the Android device. With the connection established, the hacker can now remotely control the device using a meter preter shell. This gives them access to a range of commands, allowing them to steal data, install more malware, or even take control of the device's camera and microphone. The hacker can now access the victim's contacts, read their messages, and even listen in on their phone calls. The victim's device is essentially transformed into a digital puppet, with the hacker pulling the strings from afar. Section 10. Cleaning up the evidence. After a successful hack, a responsible ethical hacker would never leave any trace of their intrusion. They would carefully remove the payload and any other signs of their presence, ensuring the device is returned to its original state. This step is crucial for ethical hackers and penetration testers who are hired to test the security of systems. By cleaning up their tracks, they ensure that the system remains secure 
and that no vulnerabilities are left open for malicious actors to exploit. Section 11. Hacking ethically and staying safe. Remember, hacking without permission is illegal and unethical. This information is for educational purposes only, to raise awareness about potential security threats. It's like learning how a lock works, not for picking locks illegally, but for understanding how to better secure your own belongings. Always be cautious about the images you download and open, especially from unknown sources. Stick to official app stores, keep your software updated, and be wary of suspicious links or messages. Stay safe out there.